What unexpected inspection shook the entire barracks? It happened when our new battalion commander decided to conduct a surprise health and welfare inspection at 0200 hours, and what he found in Private Thompson's wall locker became military legend. Thompson was known for being weird, but harmless weird. He'd talk to himself during cleaning duties, organize his socks by color intensity, and had an obsession with collecting things that most people would throw away. We figured Thompson just had some quirky hobbies that helped him cope with military life. Nobody really cared as long as he did his job and didn't cause problems for the squad. The surprise inspection came without warning. Colonel Martinez burst into our barracks with a full entourage, turning on all the lights and ordering everyone to stand by their bunks and underwear. This is a health and welfare inspection, Martinez announced. We're looking for contraband, unsanitary conditions, and anything that violates base regulations. Standard procedure that we'd been through dozens of times. Open your wall lockers, display your gear, stand at attention while officers examine your personal belongings. Thompson was visibly nervous, which wasn't unusual since he always got anxious during inspections, but this time he seemed especially worried about something. When Colonel Martinez reached Thompson's wall locker, he found the usual stuff. Uniforms, boots, personal hygiene items, photos from home. Everything looked normal and regulation compliant. Then Martinez opened Thompson's bottom drawer. The entire inspection team stopped and stared. Thompson's drawer was filled with what looked like a small-scale natural history museum, complete with handwritten labels and scientific classifications. There were preserved insects in baby food jars, carefully mounted bird feathers organized by species, pressed flowers from around the base, and detailed sketches of local wildlife. Private Thompson, Martinez said slowly, what exactly am I looking at here? Thompson stood at attention and explained in his nervous rapid-fire way that he'd been documenting the ecosystem around our base as a personal research project. He'd been collecting specimens during his off-duty time, using his laptop to research proper preservation techniques and maintaining detailed logs of his observations. The collection was actually impressive. Thompson had cataloged over 200 different species of plants, insects, and birds found on base property, complete with seasonal behavior notes and habitat descriptions. Colonel Martinez picked up one of Thompson's notebooks and started reading his detailed scientific observations. The guy had been conducting legitimate biological research using military precision and documentation standards. Thompson, are you some kind of scientist? Martinez asked. Thompson explained that he'd been a biology major before enlisting and was planning to use his GI Bill to finish his degree in environmental science after his service ended. The inspection team was fascinated. Instead of finding contraband or violations, they'd discovered that Thompson was basically running a one-man wildlife research station. Martinez spent 20 minutes examining Thompson's collection and asking questions about his methodology. The other officers were taking notes like they were attending a university lecture. By the end of the inspection, Martinez was so impressed that he asked Thompson to prepare a formal presentation about base wildlife for the command staff. Thompson's weird hobby turned into an official base environmental awareness program. He started giving nature walks for new soldiers and helping with habitat conservation projects. The guy we thought was just eccentric turned out to be the smartest person in our barracks. His wall locker collection became a source of unit pride instead of embarrassment. Six months later, Thompson received a commendation for outstanding contributions to base environmental stewardship and scientific research. Sometimes the weirdest soldiers are actually the most dedicated ones.